mission. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. in the face Wayne 6578 and today we will show you how to return kickoffs for touchdowns in Madden 20. I will show you the best way to get lots of yards on the return. I will break down the qualities you should look for in the returner. I also will show you a secret tip how to get an extra blocker on the field. Let's first look at the speed, acceleration, and agility of our returner. So if we go to the uh, kick return, I am using the new Super Bowl champs, Kansas City Chiefs, and we look at Nicole Hartman. His speed is 96, his agility is 91, and his acceleration is 95. You want to use a person who is, has at least 93 speed and 90 and above agility and 93 and above acceleration. The faster, the better you'll have. So if you put Tyreek Hill in this position, I guarantee you, you will return a lot of kicks for touchdowns. I'm going to be using Nicole Hartman. He has a 96 speed. Acceleration 95 and agility 91. So he is a great candidate for returning kicks. The next thing you want to do to get an extra blocker on the field is you want to look at your second kick returner and you want to look at his run blocking ability. Now I've already adjusted this roster uh, to take advantage of this, but usually you'll have someone here who doesn't have good run blocking. Now, as you see right here, I think we have uh, a Amari Watts is usually the second string kick returner. But we're going to put Sammy Watkins there. We can put Tyreek Hill there, but Tyreek Hill is a glitch. We're going to keep him out of there. But we're going to put Sammy Watkins in here. He has a run blocking of 59. So it's not great, but it's good. Sometimes you can put a tight end there, but I do like to have decent speed. So we're going to put Sammy Watkins there to be a blocker. Now, I'll show you how we do this. We're gonna kick, pick either return left or return right. I really like to pick return left. We're gonna have them just kick off the middle. Now, in order to return a kick, guys, you wanna click onto that blocker we got. Get him over there to the left to provide some extra blocking. Usually, we're gonna have to avoid one or two dudes. So we're going to get it all the way to the left, cut it back in to the right, and cut it back to the left. Usually you have one guy that gets free, and you just got to avoid him, right here. One guy, avoid him, and get it back to that outside. Get into practice mode and practice this. Once you get it down, you will get a lot of touchdowns. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, guys, let's go. It's just like that. That time we didn't have to cut it back in because we had a nice little lane. Every once in a while you'll get that too. But make sure you have that fastest guy over there. It really doesn't matter. I like to get that receiver over there. Um. Okay, okay. I like to get the receiver over there. He blocks better, but sometimes you can take the fullback over there too. If it's really over there on the left, I don't like to move anyone. Let's go right here. We're going to get him over here like that. Ah, I thought he was coming through. I should have just kept it straight. But a really, really easy way to get a lot of yards on the kick return. One guy. One guy. One guy. For some reason, they're not blocking the way they want to. But as you see, we're averaging more than you usually get on kickoffs, guys. Uh, the only thing you gotta be careful of is sometimes they're using people. If they're using people, you, oh god. Usually, you can just get around them. Oh god. Usually, you can just get around those guys. So, 
just be careful of that. Most people don't use those and they just let them come down there and tackle. If they're using, they're trying to get a hit stick. So just be careful of that. But all we're doing is getting it to the left because we pick kick off left, cutting it back to the inside to avoid one or two people, and then getting it back out to that outside and just taking it up the sideline. Right here. Let's try to get three people. Almost got three. But we're just cutting it back in and getting around those people. Really, really simple method. And you can do this to the right too. Just make sure you pick kick off right. Every once in a while they'll get through and they'll stop you. But I guarantee you, you'll average a nice return if you run it this way. Just make sure you get that guy over there. Get him over there as much and as far as possible. Look at those blocks, guys. Look at those blocks. Man. Big returns, guys. Big returns. Good starts when you're playing. It's all about having a fast returner. Now, he is a 96 speed, guys. With those 93s, you're going to have to work a little bit harder. But if you run it this way, you will be fine. Thanks for watching guys. It's your boy Wayne6578. Subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to be notified and join the Team Smack'em Nation. Let's go.